What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with a brand new WWE Elite 3-pack review on the ringside exclusive WWE Elite 3 Faces of Foley pack. Now this is a pack I'm very excited for, of course, was there in person at San Diego Comic-Con when this was presented to us. I think that was at San Diego Comic-Con. I know Mick Foley was there, they introduced it to him. He was blown away, he loved it, he said it was one of the best days of his life. And I'm pretty damn excited for it, man. This is a pretty epic pack right here. Do I think it's perfect? I don't know. We'll have to dive into the lore of course of this entire pack. See what all stems from it. See how we can progress from here. However, man, if you want to grab this pack, you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%. And I do want to give a huge shout out to Ringside Collectibles for everything they do for us here on the channel. And a huge shout out to them for sending this pack out for us to review. WWE Elite 3 Faces of Foley, man. Pretty damn cool packaging right here, man. Nice shot of the packaging. You guys can see the three faces that runs across the top right there. And you have a shot of all three characters in the box. And then on the bottom left, you can see the three renditions of Mick Foley and it goes across and it says of with the barbed wire with Foley. It's got some thumbtacks in it. Looks really damn cool, man. What's weird about this pack, though, is on the back, you actually don't have a lot going on. You have, like, some yellowing. It's actually, like, MDT colors. You have, uh, like, a teal bluish color. You have a yellow, and then you have a pink color over here. WWE logo, and that's it, man. There's no, like, bio read or anything, which I thought was very interesting. I expected, like, all three guys, right? Like, a bio here, a bio here, a bio here. So that's kind of crazy. And on top, you do have the WWE logo. You get the ringside exclusive, like, printed thing on there, which is interesting. And I can't really showcase it, but on the sides of the packaging, it has this exact image that's right here on the sides right there. So that's definitely something to note. But that is the packaging for our Mick Foley 3-pack, man. So with that being said, let's crack Mick Foley, Mankind, Dude, Love, and Cactus Jack out of the packaging. Find out what these guys are about, get some comparisons in, and see where all three faces of Foley stand in our WWE figure collections. Alright man, so when you open up the big casing, it's not even sealed by tape, and you do have three individually packaged Mankinds, and I knew this, but I didn't know they did it exactly this way. So here is this version of Mankind. You can see the Have a Nice Day smiley face mask thing back there, and it's got this brown leathery, you know, mask with the stitches and the buttons and stuff. You got a shot of Mankind on the back there. So then it kind of turns into three ringside exclusives in one, and you guys can kind of see what we got going on right there. And on the back, there is your bio read with your images of Mankind there. Mankind, the second face of Foley. You know, you got all that there. For Dude Love over here, you have this really cool tie-dye background with Dude Love. Got the tie-dye pattern going around. Shot of Dude Love on the back, and then you have a shot of Dude Love on the side and back. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And then you have Cactus Jack, which is very cool with the Wanted Dead or Alive poster back there. Cactus Jack got the barbed wire. Got the shot of Mick Foley. Cactus Jack there. Very cool going on. And this, of course, is his WCW look, which is very interesting. So we're gonna dive into this, man. But now that we have taken a look at their individual packages. Now let's shut the hell up and put them on the rotating base and see what all three faces of Foley are now all about. So here we finally have the three faces of Foley out of their packaging, man. Looking good. Mankind, Cactus Jack, Dude Love all out here, man. I remember a time when we were all WWE Mattel collectors begging for a Dude Love figure, begging for these iterations. I remember way back when we got the ringside exclusive Cactus Jack. Then we had the Elite 48 version. Then we had that canceled, like, Hall of Fame version. A lot of people really wanting that. And then we only had the one version of Dude Love in Elite Series 62. And I remember that figure getting uh, just a ton of hate while also getting a ton of love because it was something we asked for for so long. Love pun intended there. And so I think this ringside exclusive pack is very interesting for a lot of different reasons. And I even remember the Amazon mail away. Wasn't that an Amazon mail away mankind figure? And then you had the re-release in the Elite 51 that was slightly different. So I've been here, man. I've been here for the long haul. And it's a very interesting development here with this three pack because I think it checks a lot of boxes. There's a lot of newness going on here. And I think there's a lot of great things going on about it. I felt like my mankind's about to fall any second here. But nonetheless, man, we're going to go one by one through each individual figure, breaking down their accessories, what they come with and all those different things. We'll get into some comparisons and of course break down all the lore you get with the faces of Foley 3 pack. So let's shut the hell up and get into it. So starting off first we do have the accessories that come with our Mankind figure. You get two pairs of interchangeable hands and then a strand of hair. Now for the strand of hair right Mankind used to rip his hair out here and I'm not finding a way to like plug this in. I don't think this plugs in anywhere unless I'm just mentally ill and I think he's just supposed to hold this unless I'm just ignorant and can't figure this out. I don't know. But yeah I don't think this grips anything. I think I think he's just meant to hold it, so... 
Yeah. But I do think it is cool that we get the strand of hair. And outside of that, we do get a pair of mic holding hands. The right side is a little bit more closed, as you guys can see here. But the right side is more of the mandible claw side with the black strap going around and then uh, the apparatus style hand there. And then you have the blank hand on the left side. And then we get our pair of mandible claw hands, or the right side is more of a mandible claw hand. And then the left side is kind of like an off hand there. And he kind of looks like an alien. He to like right there between the fingers looks a bit odd. But yeah, these are cool hands right here. I like these. I do believe these are brand new interchangeable hands. Don't think we've seen these before. Alright man, so getting into the Mankind figure, starting out here at the head sculpt. I like this head sculpt. I could be wrong. I do believe this is a brand new head sculpt. He's looking off to the right right there. He's got the mask sculpt on there, which I really like. I like the way the sculpt looks and everything like that. You got the hair pulled off right here. Very cool. I like that. You know, I don't have any issues with that. You got the hair going around right there. All the puffiness, the curly, natted hair right there from Mankind. You do have his entrance shirt going down right there, which is cool. I do wish, low-key, that this was the cloth version from the Superstars Wave, and I'm not gonna lie, I may pick up an extra Mankind from the Superstars line to cut this shirt off and put the cloth version on there. Just so all three of these guys are in cloth goods, I think that would have been a cool selling point. And we've never seen an Elite Mankind like this with that cloth goods, and I think that Superstars one, it was just perfect usage of it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah, you got like the tattered stuff at the bottom here. You got these jacked arms, which I do not like. I still don't like these arms, man. They're just way too big. They did the same thing to the Defining Moments Mankind, made his arms way too big. Mankind was a bigger individual, man, but he was not, again, he wasn't 3% body fat out here with these biceps, man. He wasn't doing that. Luke Harper arms, make them double jointed, that's what you throw on here. Even if you have to play with some proportions, that's fine, but that, the beefier arms that aren't as cut is what we need. But going down, I do like the gauntlets on the side there. I do believe that's brand new. Don't think we've seen these gauntlets before. They look really good. I like the sculpt on there, and I'm pretty sure he just wore it on this side for the apparatus. But on the left side, I'm glad they gave us two of them. You know, always nice to have. You can put that on another superstar or something. I don't know. He does have ball jointed legs right here, which are solid brown, and does, he does have pinless joints, which is interesting. And then he does have these boots here that we did see on the mail away mankind, if I'm not mistaken, which is a cool mold. A little bit loose, a little bit, or at least mine are a little bit looser. Maybe yours aren't, hopefully not. But I am enjoying this mankind figure. You know, he can pose around pretty diggum good. Like the kick forward is pretty John Brown good right there. Kick forward is pretty nice, I'd say so, because he is on ball joints. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee. Again, he is kind of tight right there. You may want to heat that up or something. I don't know what torso's underneath here. I know the other two have singlet torsos, which I'll show off when I show the figures, but he's pretty buttery smooth for the most part. I just don't like the jacked arms, but let's get into some Mankind figure comparisons. So for your Mankind figure comparisons, we do have the Rock and Sock Connection 2 pack on the left. We have the new Ringside Exclusive in the middle, and then we do have the Ringside Exclusive Defining Moments Mankind on the right. Of course, I used to have the Elite 51, the Mail Away, never own the Elite 17, never own the SummerSlam Elite, so I am missing quite a few Mankind figures, but I am glad to have these, you know, and I look forward to expanding upon my Mick Foley collection, but these are the only Mankind iterations, and we will compare all of my Mick Foley's when we get to the end of the video with the Cactus Jacks once we wrap it all up, but I am finally glad to have this version of Mankind back in my collection after selling them so many years ago. So getting into the Dude Love accessories, you do get more than just a strand of hair here, and he probably comes with the best accessory. You could have an argument between this shirt and the other shirt we get, but this Dude Love shirt blows the old Elite 62 one out of the water. Of course, that one was rubber. Couldn't remove it. The tie-dye pattern only came out to like here, and the rest was solid blue. And this is a full-on tie-dye shirt with the little fringes at the bottom right there. Great-looking graphic. The tie-dye looks amazing. I remember growing up, my dad used to rock tie-dye shirts all the time. Denim, tie-dye. That's like the 90s wrapped up right there. But the tie-dye right here looks so sick, man. And you have the, ooh, have mercy with the WWE logo. Very sick, man. And it's got the stretchiness in there. It is a stretchy shirt. Reminds me of a lot of of the shirts that we got in the Hulkamania 3-pack or the 40th Anniversary Target Exclusive 3-pack. Very similar. It's not that hard to get off the figure. I don't know how hard it's going to be to get it on, but I would re recommend removing the head sculpt, removing the hands, and then trying to finagle that on there, but the graphic looks really good. This is a very clean accessory. Just one of the better cloth good shirts we've ever seen from Mattel. Just bravo job right here. We love to see this with our WWE Mattel action figures. And then we also get his tie-dyed headband, which is based in yellow, and it fits the figure's head pretty good, I would say. Coming in right here, you know, you can slide that on right there, and that looks pretty daggum good if you ask me. I like the facial expression and everything, te teeth missing. I mean, this is pretty much a true effects version of the Elite 62, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. It may even be the exact same head sculpt. I actually, that figure was part of the lot that I sold off back in the day, unfortunately, and I'm pretty
pretty sure when I reviewed that figure or I had that figure, my glasses didn't even come with the figure. Like, they fell off out of the packaging or something, never saw them again. But he also comes with his Dude Love glasses, which are the circular kind, which look pretty John Brown good, I'd say. So there they are there. You could probably finagle it a little bit more to get it centered, but for the most part, I think it gets the job done. I don't think they're just gonna fall off. Yeah, they're not gonna fall off. I mean, they're not they're not locked in there, but I think they're locked in well enough. But yeah, I like, I like the head sculpt. I like the headband. I like the glasses. These fit really, really clean, I'd say. It's nice. It makes for a nice aesthetic. And then we also have the mic holding hands right here, which again, has sort of the mandible claw apparatus and the tie-dye. He does have the right wrist tape there also, but then the off hand is completely blank for our mic holding hands. And then he also comes with his mandible claw style hands. And this is very sweet because this is actually sculpted in there, as you guys can see, which I think is awesome. So it's painted and sculpted in there for that mandible claw hand. So I think that's really awesome. Then you have the off hand right there, which is what we saw with the Mankind as well. So for the Dude Love figure, man, this is what it looks like underneath the shirt, just to showcase. So it is like a long blue singlet. If you guys had some custom ideas or something like that that you wanted to look into, this is what he looks like right there, which is cool. So I don't know, that's what, you know, if you wanted to play around with that or do whatever you want, man, that is what it looks like. But I did want to showcase the shirt here. So the way to put this on, or at least the way I put it on, is put the arms up like this, turn them all the way in so that it's like this, and then you put it on like a regular shirt. It's probably going to be really hard to do on camera, but I really just wanted to showcase this before or putting the shirt back on. So getting into the dude love man starting out, he is looking like up and slightly to the left right there. It's not bad. I probably would have preferred him looking straight on, but you know, I think it, it's okay. I don't think it's that bad. And you could also put the headband and the glasses on there to satisfy that if you wanted to. But going down, I think the shirt really does fit this figure really nicely. I think it hangs down nice and everything like that. I think the length is pretty much perfect for the most part. I don't think I'd have any complaints about that, but you do have, you know, the heart over here with the love, which looks pretty good. Nice stuff there with the double jointed arms. Then you do have the apparatus again over here. Then you do have his tie-dyed tape over here. Looks pretty good there. No, no wrist tape or anything on this side. Then he just has the plain blue tights, and he does have Dude over here and Love over there. Nice font and everything going on. And then he does have the pinless legs. I think all three figures use the exact same legs, which is interesting. And then he does have the solid white boots on there, which are nice. And here's Dude Love in all of his gear broken down there. I feel like the tie-dyes are kind of clashing with the background, but yeah, it still looks pretty damn good, man. I like it. I like this figure a lot. He's, he, I don't know, we're gonna definitely rank these figures at the end from my least favorite to my favorite out of the, you know, out of the three pack here, which figures I like the most and whatnot, but this dude love looks good, and I don't have the original Elite 62. Again, I did sell mine off. You know, this is an absolute upgrade, though. I mean, between the double jointed arms, the cloth shirt, I mean, blows it out of the water. Even though that one had better arms, I'd say. They were single jointed and had pins in there, so you know, pick your poison, I guess, but I don't know, we can get just a couple, I guess, comparisons here. And for your comparisons, we do have have the Mankind version of this three-pack on the left, and then we have the Elite 102 Commissioner Foley on the right, just to have some sort of comparison in this video with the Dude Love Elite figure. And then for our last figure in the set, we do have Cactus Jack's accessories. And Cactus Jack is probably my favorite version of Mick Foley, I think. I don't know. I'd have to fight you on that. I'd have to do some, some thinking, but I think it is. But his best accessory is going to be this cloth good shirt with these snake skin shoulder pads and this collar. Very damn cool, man. It's got these stretchy sides right here. This is actually like perfect size too because it goes over the figure easy without any removable arms or anything. If you take the head scan off, you should be able to slide this right over because again, it does have a little stretch to it and it's just perfect size. I like the way they've, they've done this over here. The sides have this stretchiness to them and then the other sides have like the rips at the bottom which look really clean. I don't know how accurate it is to the source material. However, there's no Velcro on it and it's just very nice. I like this shirt a hell of a lot. This is a very nice shirt. I like this. And I low-key, now that we don't have the Wanted Dead or Alive version. I kind of like this. I, I think I would have preferred the Wanted Dead or Alive shirt in here with this pack just for the symbolism, but this version would be really cool in a Legends line or something that would have been awesome, but I'm just glad to have this shirt. I think it's amazing. And then for your interchangeable hands, you do have just a white wrist tape right hand and then a blank left hand, similar to the other two figures. And then we have his shooter hands or his bang bang hands here with the shooters and these are really cool, man. Look very damn nice. I don't believe these are a new sculpt. We did see these on the WrestleMania Elite or something like that, I do believe. So yeah, we get shooter hands. Hands. No, no. And then for Cactus Jack, here is his singlet underneath. It's pretty much the exact same as the Dude Love, but it is in a black color. Of course, it's kind of a repaint, different boots. I mean, it's kind of, I mean, I guess you could say it's kind of a straight up repaint between the Dude Love and this one. You know, I mean, but you do add knee pads, different patterns, stuff like that. But yeah, it's just a black singlet underneath the shirt for the Cactus Jack. If you guys wanted to customize that version. So getting into the Cactus Jack figure, man, at the top of the head sculpt, I like this. I do believe this is a brand new head sculpt, never seen before. He's yelling. I, I can enjoy a yelling 
head sculpt, man. We did see something very similar on the ringside exclusive ECW version of Cactus Jack not too long ago, but I would argue this is better. I just like the scruffiness of it. It really matches our wanted sign back there, except for the hair. You know, you got the bangs coming down right there, but that's cool. I like the goatee and everything. I like it. I like this a lot. The shirt is phenomenal. I really enjoy the shirt that we're getting here on this Cactus Jack figure. No complaints right there. Don't like the arms, as we've stated multiple times, but maybe we can get an adjustment on that, but he does have the white wrist tape going down. And then on his pants, of course, he does have his cactuses, because why not? He's Cactus Jack. It's got this rattlesnake pattern or the snake pattern going down there. Has knee pads on there, which is nice. I like to see knee pads on my figures, which is cool. It only works. Knee pads don't work on only certain characters, I'd say, and it's not very many. I'd say Cody Rhodes is one that it works on. Sami Zayn is one that it works on. There's just really, I don't know, it's very few and far between where knee pads don't work on certain guys. And in this case... I think Cactus Jack can get away with no knee pads, but I do like the addition of the knee pads here. Then you do have his beautiful boots here, which are very clean. You guys know I love a good boot game, and this is clean as hell. I do enjoy Mick Foley or Cactus Jack's boots. And then for your Cactus Jack figure comparisons, here is the different iterations of Cactus Jack. I think this is the Elite 48, or maybe I'm mistaken, but I, I did a head swap between the WrestleMania 22 Elite and the Hall of Fame figure, or the Elite 48 style figure. And then this is the ringside exclusive, and then this is the ringside exclusive again. So there's actually been three different Cactus Jack ringside exclusives. That's kind of insane. That's got to be a record. I know Bret Hart's had a few. I don't know. I think it'd be close. I know Hulk Hogan's had a few. I'd have to do some thinking on that. But I like how all of them are different. They're different eras of the character, which I can't appreciate. I think that's awesome. And all of them have like different things going on with each individual figure, so that is good. I like to see that as well. But that pretty much does it for your Cactus Jack figure comparison. Alright, man. So here's my full Mick Foley collection, I do believe. I don't think I have any other figures here, so I do get a big upgrade with adding these three additions here. I do like that. So now, my collection has went from like six to nine, which is very nice. Love to see that. Had I not sold the others, we'd be up there, but this is cool to see all of these different versions of Mick Foley throughout the years, and it's cool because he has a very unique grasp because a lot of people, you know, their character doesn't change that much. Their look doesn't change that much, but he has changed his look quite a bit over the years, and it's nice to have all these different versions here, but let's rank this set from worst to best or just my personal favorite figures. And actually, I don't think I have to do very much. I think this is how I'd rank them. I think I would go Mankind third, Dude Love second, Cactus Jack first. I think. They're very similar in certain ways, but they're also very different in certain ways, but I think at the end of the day, I'd rather have the Cactus Jack than the other two. Is that a hot take? I don't know. I really like the Dude Love as well. I've just never been a, ver a, a big... I've never been a big lover of the Mankind look in the brown. I like the white shirt b version better, in my personal opinion, but what do I know, Brad? But yeah, I think that's how I'd rank it. I'd go third, second, first, Cactus Jack being my favorite out of the three, but who the hell am I, Bradley? You make the decision. But I think that pretty much wraps up our review of the Ringside Exclusive WWE Elite 3-Pack with the three faces of Foley, Mankind, Dude Love, and Cactus Jack. I enjoyed this set more than I thought I was going to, man. I still feel like the arms are too big. I've kind of said this. This is kind of my sentiment for the year until we see something changed here. For the guys like Kevin Owens, for the guys like Mankind, for the Terry Gordy coming in Elite 108, we need those bigger arms that aren't necessarily cut like you're getting on this, on this Mick Foley 3-Pack. You need that medium size, the rounder, a little bit more round not as cut. The Elite 35 Luke Harper arms are perfect. That's kind of my standard for the arms that I'm looking for. But outside of the gigantic arms or just the big arms here on this pack, I still love the figures. I think they move around great. They are on ball joints. I still think the pinless joints are a bit tight, right? Head sculpts look pretty good, I think. I like this iteration. I think all three guys have their own personalities going on. You get three individual unique. It's not just st three straight repaints, which I really appreciate. I think they did a good job there. Love the dude love shirt. I think it's fantastic. Would have been cool to see some cloth goods on the Mankind figure, like we saw in the Superstars, if all three of them had the cloth goods. And I think, you know, I know we've we've never seen this version of Cactus Jack in the WCW. I think it would have been really more iconic had they gone with the One or Dead or Alive, but we have seen that previously. But it just would have been really nice to see it in cloth goods right here on this figure specifically, I think, you know, just with those three iconic looks there. But for me personally, I like White Shirt Mankind more. But that's just me personally, you know, it's just a personal note there. However, I do like a lot of the things going on here, man. I like the head sculpts. I like, I like the shirts. I like the pose ability. Besides the pinless, we've talked about that. But I think this is an overall very fun set. I think, man, on court, it looks great. I like the individual packages you got going on. Lots of great things going on here, man, but at the end of the day, if you guys want to grab this set, you can't do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourself 10%. I really enjoy this pack, and it really shocked me. I was excited for the pack, but then my expectations were even blown away there, so that's that's something that's definitely worth noting. Love the gauntlets on the Mankind figure as well. Just like a lot of the individual things about each individual figure that you get here, 
Man. So definitely go over to Ringside, grab this thing if you guys are interested in it. But I think that pretty much wraps it up for me here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those fellows over there. Thank you guys so very much for all of your continued support. But that is going to wrap the video, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a blessed day, and I will see you next time. <laughs>